Hey guys, it's FTV here for FTV Productions of course and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to model a low poly building in, in 3D Studio Max. Now the reason you actually create a low poly building is because if you want to have like a lot of buildings in a scene in 3D Studio Max uh, and you model each building separately you're probably guessing that if you have like two buildings with a hundred thousand polygons each um, your scene is going to get pretty heavy and uh, if you like have 10 buildings 3ds max will probably crash so to avoid that you can actually use this t uh, trick that I discovered and you can use it to create low poly buildings and mind me they actually look pretty good and if you look at them from a distance like if you have a lot of these buildings and uh, you look at them like collectively they actually look like you model each one of them so I'm gonna be using um, like a very cool trick as I told you so what we're gonna be needing is textures of buildings so as you can see I have four textures here that I collected from uh, cgtextures.com and they actually allow you to download 15 megabytes of data for a free account and this this for these four textures a lot were all I got for 15 megabytes so if you want these textures I'll put a link down below in the description box you can go ahead and download these four textures so what I'll do is I'll take this um, in fact we could go ahead and check this one out and we'll take this building and convert it into a low poly model so first thing you're gonna do is take this I guess this is the one we wanna right click and hit properties or if you're on Windows 7 you can actually see the dimensions right here so they're 1 by 2171 so let's go inside of 3 d Studio Max and uh, create a plane in the front viewport doesn't really matter which viewport you use and what was it? 1 by 2171 so go inside of mod modify panel and for the width 1 by 2171 actually 3 d Max works in the opposite way of Windows so if like the length there was 1 triple eight, we have to enter it in width I don't know why, why that happens but yeah it happens so I'm gonna be dividing both of these by 10 to make our building just a bit smaller Okay, that made our building uh, too small. I can you can actually divide it by two, I guess. But make sure you divide both of them by the same number. So go calculator. One triple eight by two uh, um, by two, I guess. Nine forty four. So nine forty four. And two one seven one is probably not divisible by two. Two one seven one by two gives us one zero eight pi five zero eight five. And uh, <laughs> that makes this even larger. Anyways, forget about that. Hit G to kill the grid. Okay. Let's hit M on the keyboard to bring up the material editor. And the very first material, I'm going right to uh, click to the box right to the diffuse that says none. I'm going to click on that. And then a little box is going to pop up. I'm going to select bitmap from there. And then uh, you want to go ahead and, uh, you know, um, um, browse to the place where you have that uh, file so here we have our file just want to hit open here and that's gonna go ahead and apply that we're gonna be going go back to parent and then let's go ahead and apply this to the plane we just created and you can see that's not visible here just want to click uh, show standard map in viewport and one thing you'll notice as this is not very high quality to to do that actually we can go inside of materials I'm going to show materials in viewport as hardware display with maps and uh, that should pretty much solve our uh, low problem. So I'm going to go inside of our front viewport, hit F4 and F3. Uh, not F4, I guess. So that we can see the actual texture here. And now uh, we're going to be working on this plane and uh, making it look like this building here. So what I'll do simply is I'll take this plane and convert this to an editable poly. And we're gonna go inside of our edge mode mode and then click quick slice. Okay, so just click anywhere near this window and uh just a bit up so that you create like a line dividing this entire thing here. And then uh okay, just pick this up. Okay. Might just be a little tricky at first, but once you get the hang of it, you're gonna be pretty fast at this. So I'm gonna very quickly uh create that. So you need to have uh, these segments all around uh, your windows. Remember if you want these textures you can go ahead and look in the description they'll be there. 
Okay. And uh, there we go. Okay. And now you want to do the same thing uh, vertically. So. Oops. Okay, this can be very frustrating at times. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're actually doing this so that we have uh, polygons around each each window of the building, so they're going to be easier to extrude. Oops. Okay. Okay, this is going to be tricky, I guess. Okay. I think we forgot to do it here. Okay, there we go. Oh crap. Okay. So now that that's done, we'll have like polygons in each part of the building. So what you want to do is go to polygon mode and actually select those polygons. Okay, this this is not good. Um we have like an extra edge here, I have no idea why. Let's go ahead and delete that edge as well as the polygons attached to it. And judging by the uh, building, you're probably guessing that this part right here is actually behind and uh, extruded back backwards. So we're not going to be selecting those windows at this time. Okay, so we have another one of those extra lines here. Okay, so that's good. Better. And I have no idea why these lines are appearing here. Okay, and uh, select these. Okay, very quickly I'm going to do this. And you probably guessed it right, we're going to be extruding that inwards. So, extrude inwards, like that. There we go. And then, we're selecting these polygons in the middle. Okay, these. And we're going to be extruding those inwards even more. And then we'll take the windows there and extrude them inwards even more. So as you can see we have like I mean it looks 2D but if you go ahead and observe it closely it's actually uh, 3D and if you have like a lot of buildings like this you know if you look at it from a distance you, you're probably saying that uh, this is actually looking pretty good and looks like it's been modeled. If you want to add some more detail, you can actually add another edge here and uh, take this polygon and extrude it outwards. So um, that's going to add just a little more detail there. But I'm not going to be doing that. In fact, I can do that. We have a lot of time in this tutorial. So we're just going to sort of quick slice. And uh, I'm going to be hitting G to kill the grid and making this like a cut here and here and I'm actually gonna go exactly the same way as this uh, texture suggests I'm not gonna be extruding out every polygon there so we're gonna have a polygon mode and select these okay this is not good okay I think that's, that's how we get it and we're gonna be extruding those outwards mm, there and uh, there we go pretty simple trick and works wonders now of course you wanna make these uh, make this look like a proper building so that's pretty easy to do um, so to do that um, we actually want the dimensions of this part of here this one here okay so we want how long this this thing here so we used uh, this texture and the size of this was 1888 so this is 1888 by 2171 so this is 1888 we want to divide it so we wa we actually used uh, 1888 by 2 so this is the size of the plane that we used now we want to take those size that we used and then divide it by 2 so we get 472 
Now, these calculations are only there to make things easier for you. So, you want to go inside of this uh, plane, and we're going to zero it out on the X, Y, and Z by right-clicking on those. And you're going to take this, this is 472, so input it in Y. So, we're going to negative 472. So, that actually moves it outwards. Now, remember, the actual size of the image may be larger, but you want to divide the size by 2 of the plane that you use. So, we use 944, remember, we divide it by 2. And um, here we are. So uh, we have this. And then what you want to do is go to uh, Hierarchy Panel here, select Effect Pivot Only, and then go ahead and hit W to activate the Move tool, and then right-click on Y, and then unclick Effect Pivot Only. So what that does is that the pivot is still on, z on 0, 0, but the object is actually, you know, it's not on 0 comma 0 so why we did that is because we're going to use array so let's go and select this go to tools array and we're going to go inside of totals and click on this little arrow here and for the totals I'm going to do 360 degrees on the Z and for the count I'm going to do 4 and hit OK and so that what what that does is actually creates the building here pretty pretty cool there. So we just we do have some gaps here. We can go ahead and fix that I guess. So select this. And the pivot of all of them is going to be at the center. You should most probably uh, move the pivot somewhere over here so you can see what's going on. Okay. And move this down. And back. And uh, yeah you pretty much get the idea uh, for what we're trying to, to achieve here. So with that done, you can see that we created like a low poly building uh, very easily and believe me 2000 polygons is low poly for building. So yeah, this is uh, this is pretty much it for this tutorial. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, please go ahead and click the like button below. It really helps me out. Favorite the video, give me a thumbs up and comment, like and subscribe. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Thanks for watching guys and uh, see you in my next video.